Alright, so I'm going to be teaching you how to get Steam on your Mac. Uh, it's really simple, not much to it, but just go to the Steam website, Google Steam or whatever, and press on Mac. There's a little, like, new button. Alright, and you'll see at the very beginning it says Portal. Just, just click on that, because unless, okay, I've already got Steam, but if you don't and you click this button, it'll automa automatically just download the disk image and um, then there you just copy it to your apps um, yeah so you click this big red button it's pretty hard to miss so yeah get portal now I'll just click it and see what, yeah okay so it just opens up this DMG um, just either open it or save it, doesn't really matter but just get it into your applications then you can launch it and download uh, I don't know, your favorite games or just portal for free alright so go ahead and open up steam you have to like create an account like you would on PC and stuff and yeah, it's just loading. Right now, there's not many games available for Mac since it's really new, but they've promised to come out with a game every Wednesday. And yeah. Alright, so here, it's free. You can choose to play it here, like, you can choose to download it from here. Or just go over to Mac and you can just click over here and there's a big button like you see in the game so yeah there and then it'll probably go to your downloads although I've already downloaded every, um, the game so I'll just show you it. Um, it's just like any other version it might be a little bit laggier but it plays just fine it's gonna take quite a while to download it because it is around three, three, four gigs, something like that. So it's, for me, it took around two and a half hours. So it depends on your internet, basically. All right, so here we go. It's just like any other interface. This isn't like any other glitchy set port or anything. All the buttons are functioning. All the things functioning. There's achievements for Steam. Yeah. And yeah, let's get right on it. I've already started the game. Not too far into it, but yeah. Walking devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the heart. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. It's on console with the orange box and 
sold separately on Xbox Live. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber. Thanks for watching. And this has been DeepFox B12 with another tutorial. Please subscribe. Thanks.